The paper, Clinical versus Mechanical Prediction, a Meta-Analysis. This paper looked at 163 papers looking at the accuracy of predictions by either clinical experts or statistical prediction rules. Of those 163 papers, they used only 136, saying, quote, Studies were excluded if they operated on different sets of participants, unless the assignment of participants uh, to prediction conditions was random. This was to rule out the possibility that an ostensibly superior prediction method was favored by being applied to participants for whom predictions were easier to make. Statistical prediction rules are usually formulas. The classic example, or a classic example that I'll use, is whether or not judges in Israel would grant parole. And it was found that a simple statistical prediction rule, where, uh, when the individual's case was being heard, explained more variance in parole rulings, whether or not the judge granted them parole, than any other criteria. If the judge was reviewing your case early in the morning, or right after a snack break, the defendant was much more likely to be granted parole than at other times. Of course, this study was done in Israel, but I would presume that these results generalize at least somewhat to the United States. So that's a very simple statistical prediction rule. Uh, they can be more complex than that. And the result of this meta-analysis here in gen was that, in general, statistical prediction rules outperformed clinical judgments but not in all cases, and sometimes they were very close, and usually they are pretty close. For example, success in graduate school was much better predicted by a statistical prediction rule than an expert judgment. For psychological disturbance, the scores were about the same, and while there were examples where expert judgment beat the statistical prediction rules, there was no case where the experts absolutely destroyed the SPRs whereas there were instances where the SBRs absolutely destroyed the experts. Some more things that the study later pointed out were that, uh, one, when the experts were able to interview the person that they were making predictions about, um, and not just have access to the same numerical codes that the SPR formulas used, the experts actually performed worse than when they were just limited to having the numerical code data. Right? Interviews appear to, across the board, produce worse judgments than not having an interview at all. Right? So you're better just not interviewing, just abstaining from the interview. That information appears to be toxic. Two, when medical experts were able to use more data than the statistical prediction rules, the gap in predictive ability shrunk but the SPR still beat the medical professionals in diagnosis. Psychology experts, on the other hand, don't close the gap at all when they have access to more data than the SPR, and I mean more data other than an interview. Um, the same is also true with judges. A having access to more data than the SPR has does not, in does not close the gap between judges and SPRs. Three, training and experience have no discernible effect on the accuracy of predictions in any of the fields analyzed in this meta-analysis. Of course, all the studies in the meta-analysis are comparing experts, right? It's not comparing experts to laymen, right? It's comparing different experts to SPRs. So really what they're saying is that the differences between people who have a given certification, i.e. between doctors, really amounts to nothing, right? A doctor who served two years or who has been in the field for 20 years, their predictive ability is really not going to differ at all very much. Right, and so there's a, a restriction of range in this study. Right, they're not talking about laymen. And four, uh, statistical prediction rules were cross excuse me, statistical prediction rules that were cross validated didn't predict any better than statistical prediction rules that were not cross validated. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. But that's just like an objection that they that seemed pretty obvious that they address. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, be sure to subscribe to Daily Data. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumb up and a comment as that increases the visibility of these videos in the, in the related videos section. And I'm Ryan Falk, this has been Daily Data, and I'll see you next time.